Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the new Avast Browser Cleanup tool to remove uh, search engine infections. Now what does a typical search engine infection do? Well the first thing is it installs a toolbar to your browser. It also hijacks your start page to its own search engine. It hijacks a new tab to its own search engine and it hijacks your actual search engine so it changes it from Google Chrome to something else. Now uh, I've installed um, to test the My Start in Credit Bar, Search New and the Fun Moods hijacker but this will work pretty much with all this type of infections. So I'm going to close Internet Explorer down and load up Firefox and you can actually see it's running the search new hijack here with the toolbar there and what we're going to use is the Avast browser cleanup tool now this is a new tool uh, that's been released by Avast it actually came with Avast 8 which is the new version of uh, its antivirus product if you're considering um, using a free antivirus I do recommend using Avast 8 it's very good it's been updated, it's vastly improved from the, the earlier versions. But they've released this tool separately as well. So to uh, download it, I'm going to go to Google, google.com, and I'm going to type in Avast Browser Cleanup Tool. And you can download it from various places. Um, I'm going to download it from snapfiles.com and I'll provide this link underneath this video so you can download it yourself. It doesn't actually have an installer so I would download it to your desktop or some place where you can easily find it. So all you have to do is come to this page, click on download now and it downloads to your computer. Okay, so I'm going to close down Firefox now and make sure that all your browsers are in fact closed down because it, it will make the tool much easier to use. So, as you can see, I've downloaded it to my desktop. I'm going to double click on it to start the program, then click on Run. And what it's going to do, it's going to analyze my system, and it's going to tell me, attention, your browser appears to contain add-ons and products that either have a poor reputation, blah, blah, blah. What you're going to want to do on this screen is basically click on the remove all add-ons listed below and clean up browser and as you can see below it lists all the add-ons that you have installed so click on this button first and it's going to tell you do you it's going to ask you do you really want to remove these click on yes and it's going to take between a couple of seconds to a few minutes depending on what you have installed or how much you have installed so this is going to take uh, it shouldn't take that long so I don't have that many installed. You might actually find the browsers will actually try and load up by themselves. If this happens, just close them down. And it's going through as much as it can, just trying to get rid of it all. Now it's saying the configuration of your Google Chrome browser could not be updated. Please close your browser and repeat the current operation. Just click OK. and if this happens you could try it again but as you can see now it's come up clean so it might take a couple of seconds for the message to come up clean now you probably think well it's clean now I don't have to do anything else but what you should do is go through each of these tabs on the side and click on reset browsing settings to default values to be sure so I'm going to click on that and click on yes and the same for Firefox and then lastly Google Chrome Sometimes you might actually see add-ons listed underneath here as well. If, you, if that happens, disable them. You get an option to disable them or remove them. So once that is done, you can now close this program down. And to finish off, I'm going to use the ADW Cleaner by Explode. And I'm going to provide a, a link again where you can download this program. So I'm going to double click on it. And uh, here's the program. It's quite simple to use. You just click on the search button first. And it's going to search your computer for 
um, entries of the two bars you had in, uh, installed and it will clean up the registry and other places on your hard drive. So this is like a tidy up tool, a, a housekeeping tool. And this might take a while again depending on how many you have installed and uh, but it will do a thorough search. And uh, once it's finished searching, you, you'll get a, a notepad text file popping up, a log. I'm going to close that down for now. And now you want to click on the delete button. Click on OK. And it's going to delete all the entries it's found. Now again, this might take a while, but leave it finish. You can see it going through there. And click OK. And it says... Um, to finish off, you must restart your computer. So I'm going to do that now, pause the video and come back when it's finished. Okay, so the computer has restarted and again, it's going to pull up a log file. You can examine that when you have time to see where it's deleted. I'm just going to close it down for now. So now let's see uh, how good of a job it's done. So I'm going to load up uh, Google Chrome first. And you can see the toolbars have disappeared. And it reset the start page to my Google Chrome search engine, google.com. I am now going to try and search in this bar here to see if it's actually reset. You can see that it's actually reset the search engine to Google as well. Let's open up a new tab. And it's reset this page to default, so that's good. That's all done. Let's lo open up uh, Mozilla Firefox next. And the uh, two bars have disappeared. It's reset the uh, startup page to the default Google search engine. Let's open up a new tab. Yep, that's fine. Let's try searching here in the Omni box or the URL box. Um, let's see if that comes up. Yep, it's using Google search engine, so that's all done. That's fine. And finally, Internet Explorer. You can see that it's re been reset to Bing, which is the default browser search engine of Internet Explorer. Let's open up, um, I'm going to close that down, let's open up a new tab. Yep, that's fine, and as, as you can see, my two bars have gone as well. So basically, it's cle cleared up everything. Um, everything is fine, so it's a really good, excellent tool to use, especially if you combine it with ADW Cleaner. Um, and it really takes the pain out of going through manually trying to delete everything, as per my other videos. Um, so, yep, hope this has helped you, hope it works for you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.